This is really a once in a lifetime opportunity for us. This was the scene in April, the birth of Parish Communities football program. When we started in that cafeteria at Buffalo Creek to where we're at now, uh, I won't tell the guys this, they don't know this, but as far as the growth goes, we are growing at a rapid rate. 61 players signed up for the inaugural JV season, and from the start, the coach had his work cut out for him. Of the 61 kids, uh, 14, at least 14 of them were sophomores. So I know that we we're getting some second year kids. The vast majority of them are freshmen. And of those, over half of them had never played football before. Coaching so many inexperienced players comes with its challenges. This group is learning everything for the first time. Trying to teach them how to stretch, you don't think about that. But before practice, I mean, we had to, I had to explain to them what stretching was. And, and then, you know, um, so it, we it literally started like it was a Pop Warner team. I've watched football my whole life, but never really asked questions of what's a linebacker, what what's a defensive back, what's a receiver, left tackle, right tackle. I never knew any of that stuff. Go, pump him, pump him. Come on, Los. Come on, go back. Dock out a lap. Go. I'm tired of hearing that whistle. Bang out a lap. Rem remind yourself why you don't forget. So go ahead, knock one out. Boom. Alec, you did something correct. Hold it. I believe that uh, there is a hunger here, and, and we're close. For those of you watching at home today, we just got locks, and I have not given out the combinations yet. <laughs> and a couple of our guys have closed the lock. So. Every day brings a new challenge. Every game, more memories. The first game, okay? This is what, we, what I had to do. I'm in the locker room here, and I had to take the jersey and explain to them how to put a game day jersey on. How many of you guys had trouble putting on your jersey before the first game? Raise your hand. Be yeah. honest. And you had all these guys how falling guys over all the place, and I'm, I was just like, oh, man. So, I mean, 10 minutes before kickoff, we're still getting dressed. We need to teach kids how to play football. Not just, it's not about the team being good, because it's the first year. We don't, people don't expect us to be the best football team in the county. But you wouldn't know that by the crowd of over 4,000 that showed up last week for the Bulls' home opener, a 36-13 to loss. But nobody will remember the outcome. What they will remember is watching history being made. I've been a part of national championships in college, uh, conference championships, uh, uh, last-minute touchdowns, two-point conversion to win type things. I've never felt like that before. I told them there's an old saying, if they don't bite as a puppy, they won't bite as a dog. I got some puppies that got some bite in them, okay, and they're just puppies. They're going to be some dogs when they grow up, so I'm excited about that. In Parish, Mike Cairns, Spectrum Sports 360.